Hello everybody, it is Pokemon Master back for part 4 of my Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. And the last time we beat the Team Agua Grunt, and uh, my Trico grew to level 10. And this guy gives us a Great Ball. Alright, so now let's exit out of this place. But there are still some trainers up ahead, so, uh, and some wild Pokemon. Okay, that guy just turned his head when we walked by, and there is an other, now that's just been basically a, an item that heals 10 pp and another shroomish <laughs> wasn't that guy looking for shroomish he said he couldn't find any yet this is like my third shroomish that i have found all right so now this is uh route 104 there's some more berries there i'll take care of those off screen but let's battle this rich trainer And he, this is Rich Boy Winston, he has a Zigzagoon level 7, and I send out my Super Psycho, who is just going to go for the confusion. After this, I really need to switch to my uh, Wood Gecko, because Wood Gecko really needs some training for this uh, rock type gym. Because the gym leader's nose test is nothing to play around about. It is truly, uh, really tough. Hard to beat and everything. So if you chose Torchic, you're going to have a really hard time unless you added Lotad to your team. Lotad is really useful in this gym, especially if you chose, uh... Torchic. If you chose Torchic, Lotad will be your best friend because it is a water and grass type. Speaking of Lotad, I think she had two Pokemon, it said. Now, if you are trying to catch a Lotad with the special ability, uh, Raindish, uh, have a Ralts because with the ability Trace, because if it has the ability of Trace, it will reveal the opponent's ability, and uh, it makes it all easier to find out which ability they have. Alright, now she's got a Shroomish. I want to switch out, but my Trico cannot do anything up against this thing. Uh, so I will do some off-screen training after this episode over up by a cave. And the confusion does almost nothing, but I'm gonna do it again because that is Ralt's is only attacking move. And it eventually will take out the Shroomish like it did there. Now Super Psycho grew to level 10. That is the end of Blast Haley, and we get 96 Poké Dollars. So let's continue. Oh, I am going to switch to have my Wood Gecko and uh, Super Psycho up, because this is a double battle. If you, do, if you only have one Pokémon, they will let you pass without battling. Now, uh, they have Trico, or not Trico, they have Lotad and C Dot. I have Super Psycho and Wood Gecko. Wood Gecko is gonna go for the Absorb on the Lotad. Super Psycho is gonna go for the Confusion on the C Dot. And I'm just gonna keep that up. 
Maybe switch to pound on the low tad. But I'm thinking to keep going for absorb. And the C dot is down. Now both of these Pokemon are level 10, so uh, they're both pretty strong. But then there's my uh, Big Bite, who's falling way behind. I think he's like level 6. I will train him up ahead, but he just w is not... This is not the place for him to be trained right now. Uh, I think the third gym is electric, so... Uh, I don't know. Now this is a fisherman. Uh, you can battle him now if you want. We are not going to battle that on camera. And I am going to go heal. Now let's go to the trainer school, which I believe is right here. Now if you talk to the teacher, he will give you a, cliff, a quick claw. He gives us a quick claw. Which is very useful, especially if you are facing a faster opponent. But right now, we are going to head to the Pokemon Gym to start beating off some rock types. And, uh, I'm gonna switch to have my tree go up front. Now, if you don't want to battle any trainers, there is a path to go. Uh, I'll show you that when we go to challenge the gym leader. But right now, we are just going to battle some of the trainers, Pokemon, Pokemon in here. Absorb is four times as effective on Geodude as it would be on a normal type. So, Absorb does quite a lot of damage to Geodude. And that is very good, along with a water gun. That's what Mudkip knows. And Wood Gecko just learned Quick Attack. Geodude seemed to give a lot of experience, which is really good. Because, um, that allows me to train my Pokemon rather fast. Now, if you don't want to battle any, uh, Pokemon, any trainers, you can just take, uh, a one path. Like, as I said, I will show you when I go to challenge the gym leader. But right now, I'm going to finish beating the heck out of these trainers with my Wood Gecko. Who's gonna go for Absorb? Now, this should take out this Geodude, and it does. Awesome. Now, he's level 12. And there's one more Geodude that this guy has. I'm just going to go for the Absorb, hope to take it out, and then battle the Hiker. Okay, so now we will battle the Hiker right here. Now we've got about 30 seconds to finish this battle up. Hopefully we can do it. But he has two Pokemon, so I'm not seeing the likelihood of it. But it could happen. So I'm gonna go for the Absorb. And we're not gonna beat him in under 10 minutes. Uh, in the next episode of Pokemon Emerald, 